This is Ryan from Mid49, and this is his cage for the Canon EOS C400. Let's take a closer look. You're watching Synity, supported by b &H and CVP. Hi guys, I'm Johnny from Synity, and I'm here with Ryan from Mid49. How are you? Good. Second day. Feeling good. <laughs> and we are actually here. This is the media center, yeah, because you are running around with stuff. I saw your backpack and I was amazed. It's like you have a, a portable fitness center with you. You have different camera models with, oops, with different uh, accessories and cages. Yes. Not too heavy? No, uh, fortunately the plastic cameras are fairly light. Uh, so lugging them around all day is, is not too bad. Nice. So you moved from wood to plastic. And I, I'll explain this in a joke in a second. Um, you were actually together with your wife. You, uh, in your former former life, you had wooden camera, and you sold the company and you moved on. It's it's like really coming back to the crime scene. Why do you need this? We took two years off and we did some nonprofit video production, uh, and we just kind of felt like we wanted to make uh, products again, and so we got a few of our former team members together and we started again uh, with Mid49. So it's similar design principles, but we've learned a lot of lessons from the wooden camera days. Things like how to keep thumb screws from falling out so people don't lose them, uh, parts that break, we've changed the designs, uh, things like that. So I think we have uh, a fresh perspective with Mid49 and we're just happy to be back in the industry. A personal question, nobody's looking, nobody is listening. You are actually running the business together with Elizabeth, yes. your wife. Yes. How is it to run a business with a wife? I mean, it seems like 24-7 together all the time, no? Yeah, we, uh, we share a desk, which is funny. Um, and we divide our responsibilities pretty uh, much completely. So I do design and uh, do the video and interviews and stuff like that. And she does all the financials. She does the HR. Uh, she does customer service, um, pretty much every other possible thing um, that I don't do, and we just make a great team. So who is the real boss here, just between us? Uh, it's Elizabeth for sure, and she's sitting right over there. <laughs> Hi, Elizabeth. Good. But we are here not to talk about personal life as much as to talk about your latest offering. And this is kind of a mock-up of the Canon uh, EOS C400 which is a new camera that was announced, when, I think, around the June, was it? At, uh, just before Cinegear. Uh, that, that's one of the latest cameras from, from Canon. And you kind of created a whole cage uh, around it. So let's go um, and talk about what we have here. And then we have a little surprise for you guys. So please don't run away. We will show something else at the, at the end of, of this interview. Yeah. Please run me through. Yeah. So uh, on the top, we have a custom top plate for the camera. So we leave the smart shoe area open for adding uh, uh, third and fourth channel audio adapters, things like that. Uh, we have a sliding top handle so you can unlock the thumb screw and adjust the position of this. When you say smart shoe, just with people will know what we are talking about, not that they think that the show went to university or something, got a degree, came back very smart. What is a smart shoe for those who are not so familiar with yes. this term? Uh, on the C400, it's back here, but it's a hot shoe with a multi-pin interface. And so currently there's a Tascam uh, audio adapter that does third and fourth channel audio. Uh, and it seems like there will probably be other products that Canon will release in the future. Uh, because that shoe is also on the C80 and some of the DSLRs. Very interesting. Hopefully, what I'm hoping uh, for, that there will be some type of uh, viewport or uh, data port. And, and also, so we have the audio, we have the data, and ho hopefully there's some way to transfer the, the um, um, how do you call it, like a viewport, you know, like the, yeah. that I can put an L LCD, sorry, um, EVF or, or whatever. Okay, so sorry, I was interrupting you. You're talking about this part. Yeah. Yeah, uh, the top plate is uh, similar to our other designs. Uh, we have cage arms with NATO rails and airy rosettes, so you can swing these out in different directions. Uh, we have a rod bracket on the top here that can give you a viewfinder mount position, uh, two 15 millimeter rods for uh, over the lens rods. Uh, and then on the side here, we have our breakout boxes. So these are uh, important for this camera because uh, this camera has DIN connectors for timecode and genlock, which are those tiny little things that uh, a BNC is much preferred. 
So we have uh, adapters for timecode and genlock, and then XLR adapters here as well. And this is like a package, or you can um, match or buy things that you really like or need? So we have uh, different kit levels, a base kit and a mid kit. Uh, most of this is in the mid kit, and then we have a few optional items. So these handle extensions are optional uh, pieces. Uh, and then we also have a power distribution module on the back here, which uh, you would add on as a separate item. I see that the power distribution is actually based on a V-mount uh, kind of battery plate. Yes. What about gold mount? I mean, you are from the US. We know that this is kind of a very popular mount in the US. Yeah. Um, the feedback I get when I show someone a gold mount here at Am in Amsterdam is uh, nobody uses gold mount. So <laughs> at the show, we have V-mount, uh, but we offer a gold mount as well. And these plates are swappable, so you can just unscrew these uh, three screws and then disconnect them and swap them out if you want. Uh, but this power dist distro module plugs into the 4-pin XLR here, so you can still have the Canon BPA30 battery in the camera as, as a backup. Uh, and then we have two D-taps uh, and two 2-pin two limos at battery voltage and two 3-pin fishers at 24 volts, so we actually boost for that. Um, and the other cool thing we're doing is uh, remote control start-stop here. So if someone has uh, like a 3-pin fisher device that triggers the camera like an Aerie would, uh, we translate that into the link protocol that the camera requires. A question. Yes. Because even professional cameras like the C400 are really going down in price. Yeah. Now, the thing is that the time that you invest in engineering everything and come up with ideas is exactly the same. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's a Buono, which is a more expensive, or this camera. Now, the thing is, the price of accessories always have to be, that's my feeling, have to be somehow in relation to the cost of the camera. How do you, how do you deal with this? Uh, that is the eternal question <laughs> because uh, it is very expensive to make products and to make products that have smooth lines that flow. I mean, you could cut a rectangle out of aluminum and call it a day, but uh, if you want to make some fillets and round edges uh, and make it pretty, it costs a little bit more. And uh, we really try and find the right balance of features, cost, uh, and, and quality. And so this represents our design philosophy. Nothing that you touch on this camera is going to cut you. I've seen some products from other companies that are very sharp. And uh, we really just want to make the best quality products for the best price. You see the plaster, guys? injured when, when, when touching one of the accessories here. But never mind, that's not, not this one. Yeah. <laughs> um, good. What is the part here that you're most proud of engineering? Uh, that is a tough question. I think the coolest thing on this camera specifically is our breakout side panel here. Uh, we made this to where uh, it attaches to the rosette on the side of the camera body. So. You don't have to have any other accessories. You could just have the side breakout box and the Canon grip here. And uh, we kind of, the, the functionality of this is cool too. You can adjust the position of the um, breakout panel, but uh, we try to make our accessories to where you don't have to buy the full cage because not everybody wants to have this whole metal wrap. Uh, so you could do the top plate or the side breakout or the base plate and, and just mix and match. I mean, again, competition in this field is fierce, and there are many companies who are making stuff, but I have to say, it, it really, it looks beautiful. It looks very much um, organic, and uh, as, as if it was really uh, uh, accessory, it was born to be part of the camera, so it's very nice here. What about pricing and availability? Yeah, uh, these are available to ship now. Um, pricing, the side breakout bundle, I believe, is uh, $599 uh, US. Uh, and then our kits range from around like $700 to $1,500 US. Um, but there are a lot of other uh, products on here. So uh, if you just visit our site, you can see a, a breakout of each. Now, this is all about the EOS C400. Yes. But I know it's a bit funny to say it's almost like old news in the sense of you know, our industry is moving so fast forward. Canon just introduced the, the EOS C80. Yeah. My dream is to have something around the camera that I can attach other stuff and so on. Do you, by coincidence, have anything here with you? It's funny you should mention 
Uh, you met? <laughs> uh, yeah, so, uh, that was fast. We have been working on the C80 designs uh, over the last month, and um, it's very similar to the C70, but the top of the camera is quite a bit different. So what we did is adapt our uh, upper cage uh, with a new top plate, so you can attach uh, the original Canon handle to this uh, striped rosette area here. Uh, and we have um, different uh, features here, so a shoe mount, uh, three eighths with locating pins, and then an audio adapter that plugs into the side. Uh, because this camera in particular, the mini XLRs come out right into the side of your head when you're shooting handheld. Uh, so this is a custom super flat adapter that goes to XLR. Are you able to, to keep the uh, smart hot show functionality here? Yeah, so the, the nice thing about this over the C70 is they've separated the shoe from the mounting points. So the shoe is actually back here and it's fully exposed so you can attach the audio adapters or the extension cables there. Uh, do you already have a pricing for that one? Because my feeling is that the C80 will be a very popular camera. When you talk about performance, um, ratio to, to the price, it's really good and it will be a popular camera. So the question is, um, when your cage will be ready and how much? So the cage itself is 350 US dollars and that's uh, the top plate to the quick release plate here. And then we, on this rig right now, we have a couple optional items, the base plate, this right side uh, cage piece here, uh, and then the top handle. Um, but these products are available now uh, and we'll start shipping in about a couple weeks, uh, which is quite a bit earlier than the camera will ship. That, that's the funny thing. You can buy the cage and put the, the camera on pre-order. Very interesting. Good, Ryan. Anything that I forgot? I mean, it's two different, uh, you know, Canon cameras, EOS, C80, C400. The main product that we wanted to show you guys, it's actually the cage for the C400. But anything that I missed, anything that you want to highlight about any of those cages? One of my favorite products that we carried over from the C300 Mark III is our hinge monitor mount for that camera. So let's put the... Uh, please. This... Uh, is a, a mock-up of the monitor here. And so this product's been available for about a year now. It's been very popular. And this just gives you a simple uh, hinge interface instead of using the, the bulky, uh, it's, it's functionally great, but it's quite large, the, the piece that Canon gives you. So this is just a simple uh, tilt and swivel um, adapter here. And the uh, new thing we're introducing with this uh, system is a viewfinder mount arm. So uh, NATO rail, it's double-sided. We have a friction knuckle here, and these are all quick release. So you can adjust your position here, friction there, uh, just grab it and move it how you need it. Um, and this is uh, not even on our website yet, but uh, will be in the next week or two. Will you sell this part as a separate part so people can use it for other cameras? Because I remember still from the wooden camera days, I had something um, that was a bit similar and I literally carried it from, from one camera to another wherever I wanted it. Yeah, we are adapting this to other cameras and other viewfinders. So this is a, a special 15 millimeter uh, design here, but there's a plastic ring in here. Uh, so this is captive, but you can pull it out and swap it for an airy rosette or a quarter 20 with locating pins, things like that. Um, so you could put uh, like a Zacuto viewfinder on here as well. Uh, and then certainly put this on another camera. Ryan, thank you very much for your time and for the friendly conversation. Very nice to see that you are very motivated, very passionate, and moving forward with new products. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much. Guys, thank you very much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.